What is up YouTube? I'm the nice one and today I got another character modeling video for you. This time we're making a cleric of the forge. So if you're ready to grab your plate armor and bump up that AC, then sit back, relax, and let me make the mistakes for you. For those of you who don't know, I'm based out of Toronto and the Raptors just took the 2019 NBA championship title and my city has gone crazy. So obviously your boy had to put out another video to celebrate. Unfortunately, I couldn't really come up with any kind of connection to basketball and D&D. But you know, maybe next week I'll make a druid with a raptor pet or something. Someone did have a great suggestion of making an owl bear, so stay tuned for those. But this week we're making a heavy armor cleric. As usual, I'm using a base model to start, and then I'm building the armor pieces around that mesh. Typically, I'll start with the outside face, and then once I'm happy with how that mesh looks, the orientation, the scale, and everything, I'll extrude it out to add some thickness and weight to the armor. Frankly, I think what I really did well this week though is the texture painting. Once I had finished the model in Maya, I actually took the mesh into Blender for some simple texture painting. However, instead of smart UV unwrapping the image, I instead manually marked seams along areas of the mesh that I knew that I could easily hide, so that when I unwrapped the whole thing, I would end up with a few nice UV islands. Once I had everything unwrapped, I actually took the islands that were basically symmetrical on both sides of the characters, things like the knees, the shoulders, the hands, and then overlapped the UV islands on top of each other in the map. By overlapping the UVs, I was actually doing a few things at once. First, I was cutting my texture painting time in half because I could paint on both UV islands at the same time. It's pretty much using the symmetry function, but there are a few other benefits to overlapping your UVs. By overlapping UV islands, I was actually also saving space on the map, allowing me to assign more resolution to pieces I felt needed more detail stuff like the chest armor, the face, the beard. Basically, overlapping UV maps helps you save space on the UV grid. Finally, this technique kind of leaves you with a nice, clean, easy to read UV map for future use, and you know I'm all about making my life easier. Once I was done painting everything, I rigged it all by weight painting a simple armature on top, and then once the rig was good to go, I actually started building a motion library for the character so that I can easily transition between different poses. And that's actually what you're seeing at the beginning of the video. As he's going from walking to running to idle to idle punching, those are actually different motion library sets that I made and then basically stitched them all together in Blender so that it makes a seamless clip. By using this technique, I can save time instead of having to keyframe every single motion and every single pose multiple times if I were to do multiple scenes at once. I think using motion libraries is a great sustainable way of stitching together animations quickly and on the fly. But yeah, that's basically how I made this model and how I texture painted everything. It's super simple, super easy, and anyone can just jump in and achieve the same results. Let me know how your models are doing, and if you're struggling with part of the process, I'll try my best to help you out. I know some of you guys have been asking for certain types of characters and more step-by-step -step tutorials, and I promise I'm going to get to those as soon as I can. I've been trying to build out these characters as quickly as possible so that I can come out with a web series that I've been really hoping I can show you guys. So stay tuned for that, and keep an eye out for next week's video but until then i'll let the time lapse play me out but as always i hope you like the video i'll talk to you later have a nice night